Welcome folks, thanks for clicking and checking out my channel. In this video, I want to show you a driveway restoration I recently worked on where I use a four-step process to rejuvenate my neighbor's gravel driveway and make it look great again. You can see in these before shots how the edges have some grassy overgrowth from the yard and there's some uneven spots and places that hold water after a rain. But I'm going to use two different box scrapers to do this. I have a three-point box blade for my small compact tractor and a homemade Pultac grader box but I'll use both of them as well as my front end loader to restore this gravel driveway. So the first step of my four step process is rip it up. You have to use the ripper teeth or scarifiers to loosen the existing top coat of stone on any crushed limestone based driveway. I like tearing up the existing driveway surface so that we can loosen up some fresh material and have that available to mix in with any new material that we might add to the driveway later. Ripping it up is also essential to ensure that new material will bond or knit, as I like to call it, with the existing top coat. What I've found is if you don't work up and prep the surface initially like this, then any new stone that you add won't adhere to the underlying layer. Any new stone will just kind of slide across the top of the existing surface, and if it's too smooth and compacted, it just won't meld together. So I really like the three-point box scraper for this as it is a little bit bigger and the tractor has a bit more power with the four-wheel drive which comes in very handy. So I'm trying to use just the scarifiers or ripper teeth here to engage the existing driveway and not trying to fill up the box blade too much at this point. So again not trying to move a bunch of material yet at this stage just loosening it all up and hopefully we can then blend and knit that together with the old stuff. But I do start filling the box a little bit there which takes me to step two cut and fill. So here I'm going to have my neighbor help with his tractor to utilize a uh, pile of number 73 crushed limestone that was already there on site. And this is a chance for both of us to use our front end loaders to make short work of this six or seven ton that I will say his Kubota actually is better equipped to do this than my uh, old John Deere is, but I still make a go out of it regardless. But as we start getting this stuff distributed throughout the driveway, you're going to see me start to level out some of the piles with my loader. And and actually right here is a rare occasion where I stand the cutting edge up on edge and I back blade it, which I generally don't like to do. Usually I like to take the loader and grade while driving forward like I'm doing there with a bucket level on the ground and then I'll back drag with the back edge of the bucket. So I found this to be the best method and quickest way to get it actually level, level rather than just smoothed out. So as we speed things up here a little bit, you can see that I'm trying to get this area, which is the main interest to the driveway. I want to get it brought up a little bit because it had been worn down and it was beginning to hold water here. So we're getting that area filled in with a good portion of our stone stockpile in order to elevate the driveway and freshen up this entrance where the heaviest traffic is. So lots of pushing and pulling as I build it up and I start to feel how level it is with the tractor as I work. And I'm not trying to make it perfect yet. We'll actually get to that later in one of our additional steps. But I'm just trying to get things leveled up and nice and smooth and establish that entrance area. But this is what's left of our pile after we've moved most of it into the low areas and I'm just trying to smooth up the rest of that pile and create a little turnaround next to the garage there that you see. I like to keep the bucket flat and level on the ground most of the time when I'm pushing stone and I, I try to dump and curl as little as possible with the bucket while I'm filling and grading. There you see I have it level and flat. But that little John Deere 755, it doesn't push a lot as I slow motion spin out. But it still gets the job done. And uh, sometimes you just got to back up and hit it again and, and do what you can to get the job done. So I like using the front loader to do much of the cutting and filling because I have a background in operating a backhoe. But if you don't have the front end loader, you can easily do some cutting and filling with your three point box blade or you can get it done just as well with a pull type box blade. Actually, I'll show you the difference between the three here as we grade it out. We're gonna work on grading out all these piles and these fill areas. Here's the three point box scraper using a pull and push method to start grading. You can see as I go over those piles how the tractor moves up and down a little bit. So you may need to combine some backwards pushing efforts with some forward pulling moves to get things leveled up. I'm going to go back and forth a number of times in order to get this area filled up. But now I'm going to utilize 
my pull type grader box. And this box you'll see doesn't move up and down with the tractor and it could sometimes be a quicker way to get piles leveled up because it acts more like a road grader than what the three point box can do. I'm sure you can see the benefits of the pull type box when trying to work on rough terrain because the box can work independently of the tractor. Make a few passes in a figure eight fashion. And here, of course, like I've done already, you can use the front end loader. And here I'm going to use the front bucket and push forward, leave a little pile, curl the bucket to move the stone into the back of the bucket, and then back drag it with the back edge of the bucket. And here I'm using the front bucket to fill in a corner that has been worn down from a lot of traffic. Once I get the majority of the big piles knocked down with the loader or the three-point grader box, then by far my favorite tool is the homemade pull-type grader box. There's still a lot of bumps and up and downs that I didn't really fully address with the front bucket or the three-point box scraper because it's just so much easier to do it with this pull-type box. The pull-type box has proven to me to do the best job of smoothing and leveling because I think it works the most like what a road grader does where there's some distance between the rear axle of the tractor and the axle of the grader. So the tractor can move independently of the box and therefore you get more of a planing action that's happening where high areas get shaved down and low areas get filled in. You can kind of see that I'm doing that right there in that corner. But it also works really good at getting those areas of new and old material blended together. And it makes the stones all look even, like they were all put down at the same time even though you're mixing new material with old material. I also think this hydraulic pull type box scraper is easier to control than the three point box scraper. I've, I've always had a hard time when I'm trying to finesse a three point grader box. I, I find it hard to use the lever and I can never actually feel it. So I'm either lifting up and dumping it all out or I'm digging in too deep and making a big hole. But another one of my favorite features of this pull type grader box is the agility and the maneuverability. And I can use these different attack angles and ultimately do one of my favorite things, which is circles. Circles. I like to work in the driveway in circles when and where there's enough room to turn around. And what it does is it creates a way for you to work perpendicular to the normal direction of travel on the driveway. Now I can work the loose stone side to side rather than just straight up and down, which really helps to level it out instead of just smoothing out all the ups and downs. And there is a difference between level and smooth. And it takes a while to learn that, but this thing can actually level. And uh, as you see, I'm going up and down using both techniques of the circles and some up and down action. And as Christopher brings in another load of stone, as I was grading that portion, you can see that it had a little bit of dirt in it. And it would be hard to quickly blend that into the driveway if I was just working in one direction. But if I start working in circles, then you can see me going over the edge. It quickly makes short work of that. And you saw me go over the edge of the gravel there. That's another nice feature is you can drive off the edge of the driveway and still keep the grader box up on the actual driveway. Here's an example where I've got a small pile of stone in the middle and I can chip away at it by utilizing that space between the tractor and the box scraper without driving the tractor up and over the pile. This technique works great when you're trying to fill holes or transport material from one spot to another and you want to grab a little bit at a time, kind of like paint from a palette. I like to start my circles and then move in one particular direction, overlapping my swaths as I move so that I continue to level as I make my way up and down the gravel driveway. Right here I'm starting to get into an area that has a little bit of a high spot and I didn't have enough loose stone on top to work with so I'm going to stop and get out and drop down the scarifiers to rip it up a bit more. I have a hole setting in those ripper teeth that allows them to be one inch below the cutting edge height of the box and this way they can dig in and I won't be gathering up a bunch of gravel while I'm trying to loosen up the surface. So now I'm going to get this area all worked up because obviously I didn't do enough in step one and get it completely ripped, but we can do it quickly with this box and some circles. And by the way, this circle technique 
really multiplies the amount of coverage you can quickly achieve in a small area. There was originally stone out to all the edges that I'm working on here where it looks like I'm putting stone into the grass but what I'm trying to accomplish is to get some nice straight edges that we can use as guides to then spray with herbicide. So I gotta take some stone out to those edges where it looks like there's just grass and then we can reestablish a straight line. So as I get that area worked up there in front of the garage, I'm about done getting it all loosened up, and which takes me to step four, finally. Finally, it's final grade. And this is where I smooth out all the ridges and bumps that were created when I was doing those crazy circles. This is the finishing trip, and it really allows you to make it look nice and even. I also go just a bit slower here because I'm trying to eliminate any bouncing and allow the pull type grader box to work more like a road grader and level out the entire surface. You can see I'm taking out those ridges of stones and you can even see when something gets caught up underneath the cutting edge because it digs a little groove in the stone. But the stone is drying up and it's all starting to look really even. I've got a, I got a little dust flying there even. But now it could use a rain and maybe a roller and that would really help seal it up. But I'm also taking the opportunity to really define those edges. In this case, I had some edges that were good and bad, so I'm trying to make a nice balance between too many stones in the yard and not getting enough stones out to the edge where the stones were. So in other words, I'm trying to straighten up the edges. And this will again be our reference for spraying when we want to put some herbicide down and make a nice line. That'll be our reference. So it's time for some nice before and after shots of this driveway. It took me a while to edit this part, but it was fun to figure out how to do it and I hope you like it. Hopefully this video was either entertaining to you or it gave you some insight and ideas into how you could restore your driveway. There are lots of three-point box blades on the market and I've started to see many pull type box blades now available too. So either tool can be useful if you're trying to make your worn out and weathered gravel driveway look nice again let me know what you think or how you might do this differently. Working on driveways with my garden tractors is one of my favorite things to do, so maybe you'll get as much enjoyment out of it as I do. But I want to thank you for watching this video and hopefully for taking the time to check out some of my other videos on my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this or learned something, please hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment. The more interaction I get with the videos, the more it supports my channel and makes me want to create more videos. Thanks a bunch to all the subscribers that are currently watching and for those that feel like hitting the subscribe button now. I'll see you in the next one.